pretty good. My coach, just kind of assess the scrimmage, you know, overall, both offensive and defensively, what you liked, what you didn't like. Well, you know, we did a lot of situational work, so I like getting those situations in. It may not make a whole lot of sense. We'll call always doing second and third down, there's never a first down. Uh, but, but for us, it's good. You know, it's good film to teach off of. Uh, it's good to see some guys make some plays. I thought Dylan Ruth did some, you know, did some good things out there. I thought Mike ran the ball hard. Joe cast it. Uh, but what we've got to do a better job of is take care of the football. You know? And again, it's always pluses and minus. The defense did a nice job. We had a pick in the third down situation, and then we stripped the ball on, on, on a blitz. We can't do that offensively. We've got to take care of the ball better. So, you know, all in all, there were some you know, good plays back and forth, like you expect in a scrimmage, but we had a long way to go before, before we you know, line up against USC. What specifically would you like to see your quarterbacks maybe do better, you know, as they continue to progress? Again, you know, the big word we talk about all the time is consistency, you know. Consistently leading us, making good decisions, you know, throwing the ball consistently, accurately, uh, you know, and just, you know, establishing themselves that they can be the consistent guy. And right now, you know, there's not one clear guy that uh, uh, has separated himself totally, and so we're still going to have competition probably, you know, first two weeks of camp. Coach, do you see any frustration from any of the guys on offense that played a lot last year and things aren't going to be quite as smooth at this point as they were in the fall? You know, I'm, I'm sure guys are you know, frustrated when you don't have uh, you know, a chance to make plays. You know, you know it's, it's up to guys to step up when they have their opportunity to catch the football. We had you know, some drops out there today. Uh, you know, it'll be nice when we get Harper back and Josh back and you know, Donovan Lewis back. We've got a bunch of guys out right now. Uh, but that's football, and so it gives other guys an opportunity. Sometimes the time is not what it's supposed to be, uh, but we got a lot, a lot of time, and what we'll take is our quarterbacks working with our guys on their own between now and August. And so that development time has is, is, is got to really push us, you know, into the fall, so that when we hit, you know, on August 1st, you know, we're, we're hitting it running. With this spring in general, and development time hasn't allowed for as much as it will over the summer, but. Um, in these couple weeks, what, where did you guys make the most improvement, or any players do they stick out? Uh, you know, I, I think a lot of guys improved. I, I thought defensively as a unit, we're, we're playing much better with that first group. Um, you know, I thought our secondary Im Im improved a ton. Uh, offensively, you know, I think our offensive line is starting to gel. We're early in, in, in camp. You know, we, we were a little bit of popcorn. Uh, and the you know, quarterback situation is still still wide open. Uh, guys look good at times. And, not so good at other times, and consistency is what we're looking for. Coach, talk a little bit about the offensive line. You mentioned that they are starting to gel, and it seemed like there were a couple moments there where quarterbacks, they had you know, more than ample time to, to get rid of the football. Are you liking what you're seeing despite you know having a major depart where, a departure with Wentworth? Are you liking what you're seeing yeah, early I think, on? Yeah, I think Alex Fafita's done a nice job uh, going to left tackle. He's getting better. Yeah, I think it helps going against Tyler Davidson. You know, that, that competition's helped him. Uh, Justin Northern is going to be starting for a second year, so we expect him. Cody's a multiple-year starter. We expect him to, to step up. I think Bo Bonheim has really had a nice uh, spring, and Sean Rubikov is starting to, you know, establish himself as a starter. So that group, I think, is is uh, you know done a nice job. We've got to have a couple more guys come along so that we have some depth in there. You mentioned, you know, that having Tyler Davison having switched over to that end is sort of bringing Fafita along. How much do you think that that's played into the offensive line cohesion, having that the sort of adjustments on the defensive line and bringing that pressure from other ends? Well, I, I think uh, our defensive line is, is is going to be one of the better defensive lines in the conference, and so to get a chance to practice against those guys uh, is going to do nothing but get our guys better. You know, at first it may hurt their confidence, uh, but you know if they'll hang in there and keep competing, which they have. And, Coach Norcross won't allow anything different. Uh, they'll get better, and I, I think Alex has. Is there a chance, Coach, that maybe we could see a little bit more of a, a conservative approach to start the year as, as, <laughs> until you get you know the quarterbacks more in tune with things? No, I mean, we're going to run the offense. Uh, I think Coach Ram does a really good job. Our offense staff does a nice job of finding out who our playmakers are, and really it's just on the quarterbacks to get the ball to our playmakers. It's, it's, we don't put it all on them. It's, it's get the ball to playmakers, read what the defense gives us, if, if they're going to spread out and try to double our guys, we're going to run the football more. If they're going to pack the box, we got to be able to throw the ball and catch the ball. And we, we had too many drops out there today. Uh, we've got to get that fixed. Were you hoping that maybe somebody would step up and establish himself as kind of the leader heading into fall campus from the quarterback's point of view? Well, I think, you know, on a given day, it's been up and down. I think overall, Brian's probably, you know, half a step ahead of everybody else. But again, you know, we're not at the point where we're going to, you know, say he's the guy just yet. He's got to, he's got to continue to compete and continue to improve, as do the other two.
Coach, what's the homework for these guys between now and when the coaching staff gets to work with them again? Well, you know, they're, they're going to have to, you know, come in on their own, watch tape. Uh, this summer is a little bit different. Uh, this summer, uh, we can require guys to be here on campus for the first time. Before, it was totally voluntary. We can't be on the field with them, uh, but we can be in the classroom with them for a couple hours going through film work. And all that time, all that prep time is going to you know, be critical for our guys so that they play fast, they play efficiently, uh, they play without thinking. And we can get there. Uh, I mean, we're light years ahead of where we are today than when we were our first spring, even with Derek and all of our you know, really talented players. Uh, it was really, really ugly that first spring game for those of you guys that were here. So I like, you know, where our guys know where we're at as far as the system, uh, but we've got to, we've got to do a lot of work to get it polished. Any more questions? Mm -hmm. We're good. All right. Thanks, Coach.